Today, you're going to learn how to build a whole new SEO website for free in literally 47 seconds. I show it and time it on the video. The whole site was designed and built with AI, as you can see right here. This looks way nicer than your average WordPress website. But everything that you see right here has been designed with AI, even the About Me page. And to get it all plugged in, designed, implemented, and live on the site, literally took 47 seconds. I'm going to give you the whole process for free. I'll show you which tool I use, and I'll give you the SAP as well. So let's get into it. And by the way, if you don't know who I am, I'm Julian Goldie. I run the SEO boardroom and the SEO elite circle. I have over 100 SEO sites. I run a link building agency with 50 people working across over a hundred sites. And I've done hundreds of experiments with AI. So let's get into it. So today we're going to be testing out zip WP. This is a AI website builder where apparently you can create websites in like 60 seconds with AI. So what I'm going to do is log in right here and sign up for the free trial. So we'll look through this site. I'm interested to see how this goes. So we all know it's pretty painful creating a website. WordPress, total nightmare sometimes. Drained hours of my time that I won't get back. So I'm intrigued to see this and see how it goes. So from here, we're going to sign up with Google. By the way, this website, not ranking for anything just yet. Let's check out the metrics. So you can see it's a DR16, 131 backlinks pointing to it, 68 referring domains. A lot of people are saying expired domains, that Google is cracking down on expired domains, but it depends if you're abusing it, right? If you're abusing it, let's say you run a casino and then you're redirecting backlinks from a website about penguins to your casino to rank it and get more backlinks in, obviously that is total expired domain abuse. But if you buy an expired domain with backlinks pointing to it in a certain niche, and then you create good content around that particular niche, you're good to go, aren't you? So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. And let's have a look what we get for the free plan. So it's free forever, instant WordPress site, generate three AI sites. And then the website generated on the free plan gets deleted after 24 hours. You need to migrate it to your hosting before that. Interesting. All right. So we'll hit get started on there. And by the way, if you want insights on the expired domain experiments before anyone else, check out the SEO boardroom. I post daily experiments and tips and tutorials inside there. And, and you can see the reviews on there. Absolutely amazing so far. So let's get it popping. I'm going to create new blank website. We'll call it algip.com. Create site. It's got the login details right there. We'll click on one click login. And there we go, we're straight in, nice and easy. Now, obviously you can see this is on a test domain, right? So if you go on here, you can see the URL doesn't actually match your website. So obviously you've got to migrate that to your actual hosting if you want it to go live. So I'm going to have a little play around with this. We'll click on build site with AI now, outchip.com. This website is for entrepreneurs, let's say. And then it says, please describe Outchip in a few words. Be as descriptive as you can, share details such as services, products, and goals. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'll take the information from my homepage, as you can see right here. We'll hit continue. You can actually improve it using AI, so I guess you can tweak it before you actually go ahead with that. Then you can plug in your email address, so let's say linkjulingold.com. I'll plug in my number and company details right there. Then we're going to add some social media. So... Obviously, you would create a custom social media for that particular website. But just as an example, we'll plug this in and we'll plug in the Facebook as well. Hit continue. Doesn't like that phone number. Let's try a different one. We'll go with that. All right. So now we are taken to a section where we can add images. So obviously, this website is about biometrics. So I'm going to select the biometric stuff right here. You can upload your own images right here. And it's got some search results as well. Also, it gives you some alternative. So if you can't find stuff relevant to your niche, then you can look for like technology, security related words to that. And you can change the orientation right here, right? So you can say, right, I want landscape or portrait images for my site. We continue. Pretty easy to set up so far. This is the stuff that I absolutely hate because normally when you're setting up a website, you're on like day zero, you know, and, and it's easy to waste like two or three days messing around with this. Whereas AI can just generate it in one click. 
So we've got a few different design ideas right here as well, as you can see. Actually, there's loads. This is good as well, because you're not just going with like the generic like default WordPress theme as well. So let's see what we got here. I wouldn't say they're like the world's best designs, but they're not bad. And what, how many options we got here? 48 different design options, which is pretty good as well. So let's just randomly go for this one. What's nice here is you can change the color palette, so you can change the default colors of the website, like so. And if you look, the design is a lot nicer, right? So for example, if I go onto my default design on the website right now, it looks pretty basic. And, you know, for most people, they don't want to mess around tweaking things, clicking buttons, etc. So I would say this is a much easier workflow. This is actually going to save you time and, and set up new sites easier. So we're here on continue now. You can change the fonts as well. And then you've also got a bunch of features that you can integrate into the site, right? So for example, video player, automations and integrations, donations, sales funnels, and free live chat. Pretty cool. These two would be great for optimizing your site and getting more conversions. This is probably only going to be useful if you're either a content creator or a charity. Automations and integrations, I'm not sure what that includes, but it's quite easy to choose. And then video player, if you've got a YouTube channel, I think that'd be a great start. So from here, we're going to hit start building. With the company details, we'll hit start building the website and see what happens next. Going to hit the stopwatch as well, see how long this takes. So it's building it right here. Five seconds in, it's already done 36%. 72% in and we're 20 seconds in and there we go not too shabby we've got the login details right there I'm gonna to have to change them after the video but that's basically it then we can hit customize website and that took us 47 seconds in total so now if we click on visit site in the top left what you can see right here is that all the content was generated with AI the design was done with AI that was really easy. You can see when it's going to expire. So obviously you need to migrate it to your site before that point. And if you compare side by side, the AI generated website versus the default option on WordPress, the difference is massive, right? This is pretty plain Jane right here. This is, is not perfect, but it's better. Let's have a look at the about page, see what we've got here. So it's even written the about page, right? So it's got unveiling our company, delve into Algip's story. It's made up our story right here with some relevant images, journey section, commitments, even got our mission statement and core values and take control of digital security. What would be interesting is to see if this is plagiarized or not. So I'm just going to go into originality and we'll have a look. By the way, if the lighting on the camera is not great, I've just moved office. So that's probably why, but it'd be better on the future ones. So we're going to run a plagiarism scan on originality and just see what pops up. I'm pretty sure it's going to be very AI detectable, but we'll see what the plagiarism score comes out at. Yeah, so it's come out at 100% AI. Let's check the plagiarism score. Plagiarism score is 0% plagiarized, which is pretty good. So you got a whole unique about page. And the design, let's have a look at services, see what we've got here. So it's even created the services page right here, which is pretty nice. Let's check out the blog. So I'm going to compare side by side the blog page on the existing website versus the blog page right here. So this is the new design and this is the old design. You can see this is pretty boring and there's literally no design to it at all. This one looks a lot better. I'm not keen on the big featured image. I would probably remove that just because I know users want to get straight to the content. But this definitely looks a lot better than this, right? It's even going to pop up with a little profile picture of the user on the site. And there we go. Even the comment section looks a lot better. Let's go to the contact page, see what we've got here. Yeah, so the con even the contact page looks much nicer. There's not even one on the existing design. And so for 47 seconds worth of work, you've got something that looks really good. Obviously, you can't be posting fake testimonials on your website. You want to add either real people and real websites or just delete that section completely. But it's not bad at all. It was better than expected. Let's click on Explore now, see what we got. So that takes us to the contact page. And yeah, pretty good. 
And then you can see inside here, it's got a list of all the sites, website drafts, etc. Now, if you actually want to take the website design and then migrate it to your actual live website, because obviously this is on a task URL, then they've got instructions on the website inside this article right here. But basically you would install the all-in-one migration plugin, set up the hosting, and then you are good to go. Let me show you an example. So this is the test website and this is the website that we want to migrate to. So what we can do is go to plugins, add new plugin, all-in-one WP, install all-in-one migration and backup plugin right here. Then we can export, we'll export it to file as you can see. And then in the meantime, we're going to install the same plugin on our live site, activate it right there. We'll download that. We'll import on the live site, import from file. You can see the file importing right here. Pretty easy to do. Now we can close the test site. It's still importing on the live site. And what I've actually done here is create a step-by-step -step SAP, right? With everything that we talked about, right? So I've simplified this as much as I can just to save you time. And then if you or your team need to set up new sites with one click, you can do that using this process right here. And just an important note here, you want to change the login details on the website, plus change and delete anything that you need to. And now you can see the site has been imported successfully. So we'll hit finish on that. And now let's take a look. And if we refresh the page, you can see now on the live site, we've got the new design. Nice and easy. The only thing I'm worried about is on the blog pages, our previous page has been deleted. So just be careful of that. It seems to overwrite everything that you've already got on your site. So it's ideal for new sites. Just be careful if you're importing for old sites. What you'll see as well is the login details will change to the details that you gave. If you lose track of your login details, you can just click on three dots and then login details right here. And now we're all good to go. So what I'm going to do is I will take this SAP right here. We'll plug it into free course links inside the comments description. If you go to SEO systems inside the free course, we'll call this one click SEO site. And that SAP is right down here. Now, one of the other things that I keep getting asked is what's the difference between the SEO boardroom and the SEO elite circle. So I've actually dropped a link to the comparison right here inside the SAP. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session, feel free to get that links inside the comments description. And we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot with SEO. And you'll get a free customized SEO domination plan for your website. You'll discover the secrets of link building or answer any questions that you have one-to-one -one on the call and you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website. Feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. Bye-bye.